Hey, I've been looking all over for you. Hey, man. I've been a good soldier, man. Well, not exactly. Dude, it worked itself out, man. Let's take a walk. Come on. Listen, man, I really don't think you want to be doing this. Do what? I chased across the bridge. You tripped and went over the railing. Come on, man. You know I didn't say anything to anyone. We had a deal. You do Davy, you walk on that third strike. You never fulfilled your end. Come on, man. The cop on the pier did it for me, man. I mean, come on, what am I supposed to do? I guess you're right, Morgan. Sad as it is, your life's been reduced to a loose end. All right, man. Look, I'll leave town, you know. I've been thinking of relocating to San Diego. I know this girl down there, you know? Oh, you're relocating, all right. So, we're all set. You can move in any time. Just give me one more day to find a place. Any black and white or PB unit in the vicinity, report of a body under the pier bridge. Ambulance on the way. This is two BB boys responding with three bucks in there. Swim, huh? Morgan, tell me who did this to you. That's Mark, right? Strike three. Morgan, Morgan. You Calloway. That's right. You'll understand if I don't want to shake your hand. What do you want? I want to give you a chance to turn yourself in for attempted murder. <laughs> this is some kind of joke, right? Not according to a drug dealer named Andy Morgan. Morgan's dead. He fell off a bridge last night. I heard he was pushed. Yeah? By who? By you, according to Morgan. What'd he do, speak to you from the grave? No. Nope. He gave a dying declaration to two cops. Nice try, Beach Boy. Must be tough to get any words out of a dead man. There were only three. One was your name. The other two were strike three. What was the deal, huh? You had him on a drug bust, but if he kills Davy Blaine for you, then he doesn't spend life in prison? You know, that's a wonderful story you got there. Too bad you don't got any proof. DA says it's enough. Morgan's on that tape. Yeah, right. Let me ask you something. Is this the only way you get a date? You can't win them, you can't woo them, so you have their husbands killed. He was never good to her. He never appreciated what he had. All those years we were together, he practically ignored the woman. What's the plan now? Run away with Diana? Sorry, but we told her you tried to have Davey killed. Hey, let him be. It's good therapy. I got $28,000 in cash here. That's the exact amount that Riley Carl took in the highest Palfus markets to Palomino. I think it's only fair that the money be returned to the remaining players in equal shares. Good. Hey, bravo. The AW has agreed that the Palomino will absorb the loss. As Carl will be incarcerated for more than a year, after which time he is definitely banned from this game. Out of way. Let's play some poker. Let's play hey, ball. Hey, Teddy, where the hell are you going? I'm going to poker a rest for a while. Oh, <laughs> gentlemen. Yeah, man, it's these five players. That ain't no poker game. Oh. Jan Robbie! All right, boys. Come on. I still say you're a glutton for punishment. We're gonna be just fine. Welcome home. <laughs>
Yeah, but you must feel better to have this thing behind you. I feel a sense of relief, but I don't feel any better. Why is that? You still killed an innocent man. The irony of it is, Debbie Blaine didn't do anything wrong. Neither did Diana. Maybe if I hadn't gone to that ATM, he would have killed Morgan before Morgan killed him. But TC, you can't carry that around with you all the time. I know that. It still doesn't change the fact that it happened. 